Junkin' Pool over here in the southwest corner of Poorville again. The old building. Thought I'd do a little walk around here and get some water lines marked and sewer lines and, I don't know, cable lines. The old building here. We got our gas meter on. Hooked that up the other day. We got some heat. Haven't been turning it on when I'm not here. We got our electrical meter on. Just did some quick patching, try to keep the coal out for the winter. I cleaned some of them limbs up. I've got them down. I got to get them cut up, and burn up. Still ain't done with the door. Got to just do a little bit of trim on that. And hook up the counter lift mechanism inside. Thought I'd do a quick video. I come over here. We start bringing stuff over here, and we're still advertising it. That's my temporary door for. So I got a guy coming to look at this, and it was over here, and. I want to clean some of this cement up. It don't look like it, but I think I knocked the real heavies off. That thing's got a big old... It about took me for a, a ride on a roller coaster over here. It's got a big old wire brush thingy on it. It spun me around a few times. So I thought I'd just do a video. Some of this stuff we're gonna gonna start getting the paint and going and Yeah, we got one heater in the other day and it's burning a little funny. They don't normally burn that color, but since I steered up so much dust with that uh scrubber, what's one thing about these heaters, you get a little dust going and they burn funny. But that'll thin out and that'll be burning blue. So I plumbed it in there. This is just temporary. Then I'm going to run up the wall here and run one on the other side, which I got right there in the box. These are 30,000 BTU. I think they heat a 1,000 square feet, so two of them should take care of it. We don't need an 80 in here. We just need it, oh, I don't know, 50, 60 when it's cold out. And when we're not here, we don't even need it that warm. So I think I want to put one over here behind that. I guess that's Santa Claus there. I want to mount one right about in the middle here. So I wanted to do some little bit of patching up here, some cracks before I run the gas line. And then I'm going to run it right down there. I'm going to probably paint it before I put all that in. And then I'm going to leave the one pretty close there. Bought some of the pipe. That's 10 foot long, half inch black pipe. I got some more pipe around. I just bought it. Bought that and two of the heaters at the same time. There's some of the, well that's the old pipe there. There's some of the pipe there. There's some there. So if we, if we sold that uh, fifth wheel. The guy didn't want the one part. And it was just, we picked it up from a couple different jobs. So he didn't want the one part. He wanted to the runners and we had 75 on everything he said how about 40 bucks for the runners i said yeah i can do that so he bought them and actually i said how about 45 and he goes no nah, 40 sounds better i said yeah we'll do 40 it was a freebie so you may as well really not haggle too much over five bucks and let somebody change their mind i've done that before and they walked away over five dollars so Sometimes if I want to keep it, I don't. If I got a price, I'll stick to it. But usually I'm pretty flexible. So anyway, that same guy, he's looking around. And I ended up selling him four tires on rims. They were pretty nice, but I really didn't even want to pick them up. But I did. And I ended up selling them for 50 bucks. So he spent $90. He was happy. He drove quite a ways, a couple hours. So, you know. A buck's a buck. That was the other day. 
And if we sell this, this will be the first thing we actually sold out of the old building here, the, as we call it, the store. So, it's a little dusty in here, because I've been running this thing. I don't know if it'll show up on the film or not. I know it's choking me. I had to turn the power on and put a little light on the subject. Yeah, when the ceiling's done, then the walls, and then I'm planning on maybe cleaning this floor up real good. Uh, that's what I was going to use this for, but if it sells, I can. I got most of it. There's a spot right there now that I got the light on. I already hit it, but then I'm going to paint the floor, either maybe use that garage paint, fancy it up. It's going to take quite a bit of time. i got to pull these shelves down, and you've got to use a wrench on every one of them because the socket don't fit. They're the old square ones, and I did a few of them, and it takes a while. Then I'm going to redo the shelves and paint them all up. Do the ceiling and the shelves, or the walls and the shelves. I think them will hold quite a bit of stuff on. I'm going to replace a few of the boards, and most of them are pretty good. And I'm going to run some 220 over here. Probably on this wall, I'm still deciding for the wash machines and or the dryers and different 220 stuff. Got a microwave we picked up the other day and that tested out all right. So I'm not even sure where the lights are at. That might help a little bit. So this is the junk and fool again over here in the southwest corner of Poorville. Working on our buy-sell trade store it's been a long time project well I've wanted one a long time it's gonna be a while the project put that in one of the videos I just stuck that up here the thermometer I know it's cold in here because it's saying about oh maybe 38 I just turned the heat on a little bit and the heat's quite a ways from that thing there so I thought I'd do a video, do a little update on the gas meter and the electrical, so we got the main thing we need. I like these heaters. They got the built-in uh, sensor so you don't get um, carbon dioxide poisoning. Anybody that's got any kind of gas or heaters, you should really have them carbon monoxide sensors. They're cheap and they'll save your life. Uh, every year I hear of people taking the batteries out or, or having them or not having them, and it's terrible. We've lost whole families a few times around. So we always put the, even though this has got the safety thing, we always put the carbon monoxide sensors, and like uh, most of them are dual fire, fire uh, smoke alarms. So I... Uh, I would encourage everybody to make sure they got them just to be safe and their family to be safe. This is the Junkin' Fool over here again in, in uh, Poorville. Hope you all have a great day. And thumbs up or subscribe and we'll start painting this up. And we're going to do videos as time goes on and hopefully open it next year sometime. Have a great day. Goodbye. We'll find some junk.